Sonoran CMS manages your entire community for free. Learn more at sonorancms.com. Sonoran CMS allows you to create custom forms for your community. These can be useful for managing member applications or keeping records. To create a custom form, start by navigating to the admin panel, then click on Forms in the Community tab. Within the Form Editor panel, you'll be able to create custom forms designed to your liking. Here, you can choose to either edit an existing form or to create a new one from scratch. To create a new form, click the green plus button and select Custom Form to open the Form Editor. Along the top bar, you'll have the option to choose the form type. For example, member applications, patrol logs, or disciplinary history. Once you have decided on your form type, you can give your form a title. To customize your form, you can choose Add Section or drag and drop different fields into your form editor. Once there, you can click the yellow box to edit the field. Within any section, there are a multitude of different fields you can choose from and customize. To add another field into an existing section, simply drag and drop from the left side. Once there, you can edit the field's type if needed, label, as well as other settings. Additionally, you can use the slider to set the display width of the section. You can also check to make a field required. In both the section and the field editors, you can click the red button to delete, or the yellow button to clone. So I've gone ahead and set up an example form. Let's say you have a field that you only want to show up if a certain condition is met. In this example, let's say we want to make it so that if you're applying for the police or fire departments, you are asked an additional question. To do this, toggle conditional mode on the additional question and select the field where they state what department they're applying for. Now, a new field will show up, and in this field, you can list any values that they might input in the original field that you want to trigger this additional question. For example, we can put LSPD, LSFD. That way, if a user enters either of those values when asked what department they're applying for, they will be then asked this following question. Next, the form settings menu allows you to give your form a custom image, description, and importantly, the ability to set up stages. The form stages panel allows you to determine all the different stages and statuses a custom form can go through, where each stage can be customized for different functions. For example, if this form template is for a community application, you may want the process to be pending, then under review, then finally approved or declined. To begin customizing your stages, you can choose to select an existing stage, or you can click on create a new stage to make a new one from scratch. In here, you can give it a label, an internal label, and a description. You can set a custom color and or icon, then you have the option to select a next stage, or to set it as default. Finally, you have the ability to add a custom action should you so desire. Custom actions allow you to do things such as automatically reply, notify the submitter, change their rank, and more. For this example, we will set up a custom action to notify the submitter via email. When you're done, click Create Stage. If your stage shows up as red like this, you may need to edit the previous stage and select the stage you just created as the next stage. When you have customized all the stages to your liking, press save to save it. In the limits, you can set form limits such as how many times a user is able to submit this form, how long prior submissions will be counted for, a cooldown period between submissions, and the ability to ignore archived submissions. Finally, if you'd like to share your form via URL so that users can submit it directly, you can copy the link to it by clicking on the green arrow button. You can also create folders to help organize your forms. To do that, click the green plus button and select folder. Give your folder a name, click add folder, and then you can drag and drop your form into the folder. And that is how you create and manage custom forms in Sonoran CMS.